Hey guys, this is E with Scrapbooking with Me, and today I wanted to make some cards for you. And yes, this looks like a file folder, but it is a file folder card. I think they're super cute. They're easy to make, and they'll go in a regular envelope and go in the mail. You can put anything you want on them, decorate them any way that you want, but it's just a little bit of a different twist to a regular card. Y'all know that I'm not much of a card maker, but I do like a card that is unusual and different. And if I find one that's unusual and different, then I'm going to be making them. So this is the one that I've already made up, and I went ahead and put a little bit of Baker's Twine around it, just for a little bit of added prettiness. have some little flowers here. And then just some little bling. I mean, like I said, you can decorate these up any way you want. When your recipient gets the card, they can just take the Baker's Twine off. And then they can use this, if they want to, on their projects. On the inside, you have a blank space that you can either stamp something on or, you know, write your sentiment, whatever you want to do. But, like I said, I think they're super cute. So let's get to make it a few of them. I've gone ahead and cut this one out. So the first thing you're going to need is a piece of paper that is five and a half by eight and a half. Now this is if you want to make this size card. You can alter these sizes and make whatever size you want. That's strictly up to you. If you want to make a larger one, smaller one, whatever, or a variety of them, you could make a little set of cards and send. That would be really cute. So once you, I'm going to lay this one aside and we're going to do, let's see, let's do this one. I'm probably going to use all of my paper, my scrap paper, and th this you can use scrap paper on as long as it's eight and a half long and five and a half wide, use it. So I'm gonna, probably going to use all my scrap paper up in order to make these cute little cards. All right, put it in on the eight and a half inch side and you're going to score don't score in the center, but you're going to score at four. So score at four inches. And what that's going to give you is that's going to give you that little lip that you need, the little offset for a file folder. Now here is the point where you could take this on down, cut this one shorter on the front, and then put the sides together and make a little pocket, you know, whatever. So I think I'm going to do that one on that on this one. So what I'm going to do is I think I'm going to take a little bit off of and take a little bit off of my short side. Doesn't really matter how much. I'm going to take about an inch and a quarter off. No, maybe an inch and a half off of my short side. And save all your little pieces because later on this week, and I say later on this week, I know it's late in the week, we're going to show you what to do with some of your little scraps that you have left. So now you have something that looks like this, and this is not looking like a file folder, is it? Okay, this is where your envelope punch board comes in, or if you do not have an envelope punch board, you can still make these cards. What you do is get a little file, get a file folder, and most all of us have a file folder laying around somewhere. Lay a piece of paper on there, and then cut you out a template of that little design right there, that tab. You can make it smaller or larger, whatever. Just cut out a little template, and then you've got the makings of this if you don't have an envelope punch board. So you do not have to have one of these in order to make this card. Just find an old file folder laying around somewhere and go for it. The first thing we're going to do is we're going to round the corners. Uh, now you could punch the corners and make it look a little bit more like the edges of a file folder, but I just like mine rounded since it is a card. I think they're I think they're cute that way. All right, then I'm going to put it in, and I'm going to put it at about the three-inch mark, and I'm going to punch it. And then I'm going to open it up, and I'm going to do the same thing on the other side. 
okay beginning to look more like a file folder right now what we're going to do is take our cutter our trimmer and you're going to decide which one of these you want to be your tab now you can take you can take the short one or you can take the longer one so I think I want the longer one to be my tab on here so I'm going to cut this little one off right here so just put it in your cutter and put where the cutting line right in that little groove right there and then just cut right up to that cut that part off then you, there's your file folder tab and then on this end I think I'm going to cut this part right here off so that I'll have this little part left there and this is where you can just be creative with it you don't have to make it look exactly like a file folder does just be creative make it look like you want it to look all right isn't that cute already you're seeing the makings of a file folder right here I think I'm going to trim that just a tiny bit more looks like I got just a little bit off okay so there you go let's do a little put our bone folder to this and press it down just a little bit so there we go now we're going to use just a little bit of glue on either side of this just a little bit of little bead of glue and you're going to press those two sides down so there again that's still your file folder but you have a little pocket there here is where you can decide what you want to put in here if you just want to slide a little piece of paper in there and put your sentiment on there put a note on there whatever you could do it this would be a cute card to do for like a birthday party an anniversary party or something like that decorate it up really pretty put the note in there for the RSVP or whatever but I'm just going to use I have some of these little cutouts and this is what I'm going to use in mine and I am going to put a little ink on these edges to just kind of bring out that coral looking color there and someone asked me why I ink just about everything that I do I ink for two reasons one I love the look of it and two it covers up a little bit of my imperfections that I do when I cut or when I fussy cut if you fussy cut and you're like me you have a little bit of a shaky hand if you put a little ink around it it'll cover up any imperfections that you've had when you're cutting so those are the reasons why I do a lot of inking and I, I do I love the look of it to me it makes a piece you can take just an ordinary little piece like that and make it stand out a little bit just by putting a little bit of ink on it okay right here we could put the date so today is 06-02-2016 so then they have their date you could write a sentiment in here you could put a, a photo in there you know put it in your printer and print something out there so I'm going to put that right down in there in the center part just like that and then this is another little cutout that I had nothing in nothing particular it just says it's a beautiful day to start so you know a lot of people need just a little bit of encouragement sometimes to get going so I think that's cute and I think I'm gonna put that right there kind of an angle and then I have lots of these little cutouts that are from our documented faith line that their coloring pages so I think I'm gonna choose one of those to slide in behind there that can be you know can be they can use it for a bookmark if they color it up they can use it for a bookmark they can use it just as is 
you know, it's just something cute to put in there. Um, I like this one. To live a creative life, we must lose our fear of being wrong. I love that. So let's slide that in there. And yes, we have a lot of different colors and things going on here. This is black and white, but we're not going to worry about that. I think a variety of colors is the spice of life. So now we're going to choose a, I like that one. Choose a little bit of Baker's Twine. And I think I'm just going to put a bow on this one. I'm not going to go all the way around it. So the way I do my bows when I'm not putting it around something is I just make two rabbit ears, just like most of us were taught to tie our shoes when we were younger. And then just pull that tight and then just adjust it to where you want it. I'm just going to glue that right there. Put a little spot of glue down, press that in and hold it, just for a second or two. And then cut the tails off just a little bit. Then I think we'll put a little bit of bling on there. Let's see what we've got. Um, I think I'll just use some of these pearls. So we're going to put three little pearls on here. Oops. Try to get them even. And then I may just put a little larger one right in the center of that bow. Just like that. And there you've got a sweet card. Like I said, put your sentiment, write your sentiment on there. And then they've got, let me put that back in straight. And then they've got this that they can use that will just tuck in behind there. And then a cute card that you can just slip in the mail and it's off to them. I think they're super cute. Let's do one more. Let's go ahead and finish this one. I think this is going to be cute. This is like the first one that we made. Now again, this this piece was five and a half by eight and a half and I scored it at four and then I just used my envelope punch board to do the tops just like we did on that one that we just did. So then I cut a piece to go on the inside and this piece you could cut any size that you want. It doesn't have to be a particular size. I cut mine down to where when I closed this that it would just barely peak right there to give that little bit of division to, to where the opening is. So we'll go ahead and put this down. going to bring it all the way down to the full line and then just center it in the middle just like that and then I just cut a piece to go on the outside that looked like summer because this like I said this could be an invitation to a summer party or you know whatever so I think this, I'm going to send this out to some people for a little summer get together these I cut at five and a quarter by three and a half and then I just rounded off the corners and inked it up. So I am using a paper collection by Dear Lizzie and it's called Happy Place and it's really summery. Everything in it is about summer and the beach and that kind of thing so I love that. 
and it's a thinner cardstock, so to me it's better for cards and things like that. And then this little piece, I think I'm going to put right there, but I think I'm going to pop it up just a little bit. And let's see where my pop tops are. I'll give it a little bit of dimension. Yeah, we put that on pop dots, and then here's a little bit of a trick that I like to do with my baker's twine when I have something that I want to put it on, and I'm going to pop it up. I just take my baker's twine before I put the piece down, and then I just press it into one of the pop dots, and just kind of run it around, pressing it into a pop dot here and there while holding your baker's twine on either side then just press that down on your card and then take your two little looped ends that you had left and then just create a bow or on, in this case I'm just going to tie a knot, a double knot. I'm not going to do a bow on this because to me this looks more like a anchor or you know something that you'd, you would see on a yacht or a boat, whatever. And then I'm going to cut that off completely all the way up to the little knot. I don't want any little stray tails hanging out there. So there's how you can do that. And so I'm just as usual. I think on this one I'm going to use a couple of these little flowers to put up here. Summer and flowers is what it's all about. So, look at that there. Oops. So there you go. You have another card. And just because I can't stop making these, we're going to make one more. And then... I think we'll be finished for today anyway. So again, your paper is five and a half by eight and a half. Put it on the eight and a half inch side and score at four. So there you've got that. Then take your template that you made from a file folder or your envelope punch board. Put it in at three inches and score uh, punch. And then flip it over, put it in at three inches and punch. Now you're ready to trim these off. Decide which side you want to be your tab. And I think I'm going to go with the short side this time to be my tab. So going to put that in there and just cut off that part right there. I'm going to flip it around and I'm going to cut the long side off on here. Now if you wanted the, your tabs to be in the center then you could just make a smaller tab and do it the same way. Just, just decide where your center wants to be, how big you want your tab and then punch it on your punch board that way. You can you know, this is something that you can change around like you want. So there is that. I'm going to go ahead and round my corners. And I, I am not a big fan of the corner rounder that comes in the with the envelope punch board. On the envelope punch board, I should say. So I just used my little dollar store corner rounder. So there we go with that. And now I... I've already got a piece of paper cut. This is real floral on the inside, so I think I'm going to cover quite a bit of this. I've just got, this is just some scrap white paper that I have. So I think I'm going to put that down on both sides. And they're not the same size, but that doesn't matter to me. So let's see. I'm going to go ahead and round the corners on this too. Just to dress it up. This is just a way to use up your scraps. And... Make something look really good too. So 
So let's put that one down there and this one over here. You can do stamping on here. You know, here again, this is up to you on the inside and how you decorate, or if you decorate, you may not want to decorate anything on the inside. You may just want to make up a bunch of these cards and send them to some friends and let them do their decorating. We go now we have plenty of room on the inside to write our sentiment or whatever we want now I have some I have some of this trim that I've had forever and it's flowers and butterflies I think I might use it on here first I'm going to put a little piece of washi just going to let it be a little bit off. So I think if you put washi down you shouldn't try to make it so perfect. Let's put a piece of washi on here. This is just some glitter washi that, oh, I don't know, I found it at, I think, the Dollar Tree or something like that. So that will give that a little bit of added extra on there. And then we have, this is just some old trim that I've had forever. So I think I might put that right there. And then I think I'm going to put this little flower right there. I might even put another one there. Let's see. These are some flowers that was gifted to me by my sweet subscriber. So I think I'm just going to put two flowers there. I know you're supposed to go in threes to make things look a little bit more uniform, but I think I'm just going to do two right there one of these larger pearls in the center of that. Would that be cute? And then let's go with some of this butterfly trim. Butterfly and flower trim down here. And this is just made out of a felt so it's still going to be very easy to mail not going to cost you any extra. Now this is strictly using what is on my desk. This is a little doily that I punched out for another project and didn't use. And then this is one of those little um, inches that I made just using a little piece of cardboard and then cut out a little image from Graphic 45. And I'm going to put that right there and that on top of it and I think that's super cute. I'm going to ink around this just a little bit to make it pop off of the background. Just put a little ink to it and it'll make it stand out. And just put a little glue on there. Press it down in the spot that you want. See how that makes that just going to stand off the background? And then we're just going to put this. And this is a lightweight chipboard. So, again, you shouldn't have to worry about having to add any extra postage or anything to it. And there you go. There's another little file folder um, card that I think is super cute. I'm going to go ahead and put a little more ink right here. It just kind of makes everything come together. And that is it. Those are finished. 
show you all the cards. Let's see, where's the other ones? There's one, and then this one that I don't have the twine tied around again. But that's it. Those are the cards. Super quick, super easy, but a little bit different twist on a card so that it, all your cards don't have to be so plain. You can make a card any way that you want to. It doesn't have to be just the, the traditional cards. Alright guys, that is it for this video. I hope you enjoyed. Please give us a thumbs up and subscribe. And don't forget to leave us a comment below. We're going to start a new little, I guess you could call it game, challenge, whatever. If you leave a comment below on the next video, whatever project I make, I will choose a winner from this video. I'll just go down the comments and have random.org pick out a number and a winner. And that person will receive one of the projects that I have made either in this video or the next one. Totally free. All you have to do is furnish me your mailing address. So don't forget to leave us a comment. You have to be a subscriber. We'll talk to you guys later. Bye-bye.